Welcome back, everybody. It's time for another video for you, and I just want to share a new tool I got in the mail yesterday. Um, this is a Hot Air SMD reworking station. I bought this uh, from MCM Electronics. Uh, it was on sale. Um, it's not like the best version you can buy, but it's sufficient for what I want to do, I think. Um, essentially, you use this to remove chips that are surface mount um, or, or solder chips that are surface mount. Um, just, I'm going to show you a sur some surface mount chips here in a second here, actually. Um, you can see here, here's an old um, um, S3 video card out of a really old compact computer from like 1995 or something like that. And here's one of the surface mount chips. I actually bent one of the pins here as I was doing it. This is the first thing I tried removing. So, um, but you can see, these. Are, this is a surface mount chip. And you can see, they just mount right on the, here's where it was. And uh, it just solders directly on the board. It's not whole through like some things. You can see the things here that have, they go through from one side to the other. Those are whole through devices. And really the only whole through devices on this are the, um, the headers. And I already taken a header off of this board here. So it's good to just do some experimenting. Um, get that back off. So uh, surface mount chips are um, used a lot um, it, from the 90s on because they're easier to do um, automatically. They use less space, and some of these chips have got such fine, tiny pins on them, like this chip right here. And there's different forms of these. Um, they're different sizes of SMD chips, and they uh, use different tips to, to uh, solder them or remove them. I just have the basic ones right now. I don't have any of them for these large um, square chips. I, call, I think they're called QFP or something like that. I can't remember the exact name. So these are the basic ones. I'll probably pick up some other ones as I need them. But so I've got three tips that came with this. Here's the smallest one right here. And uh, you get your hot air that you can just direct. And it's hot enough to melt solder. I mean, you could do it with a, with a, um, a heat gun in some cases, but you'd destroy things in the process. So let me uh, turn this on. So it's in sleep mode right now because it's sitting in the uh, handle. There's a magnetic sensor. When I take it out, it's going to show the actual temperature. You see the temperature's going up pretty quick. So now I have it, I have it set at the max temperature just because I'm just doing stuff that I'm, I don't really care if I wreck anything in the process. So, let's give you a little example here. Here's something nice and big that you guys can see. Here's a, a capacitor, a large SMD mount capacitor. I'm afraid to get too close to my camera because if I do that, um, I might melt my camera lens. I can just push it right off now. It's been removed. Now, after I've done that, I could put some solder paste on each of these um, pads and put a new cap on there and then solder it back down. Like, and here's a good example. Here's a cap over here that's on crooked. Now, I'm sure it probably works fine where it is. And now, I, this is my first time using something like this. I'm not an expert on this at all, so I'm probably doing everything wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be watching a lot of videos myself on how to do this. And I straightened that one out. Um, so, yeah, so there's, there's that. Um, now, if I wanted to remove this chip here, I'd have to go around and around. And there's where there's a special tip that, ha that directs the heat. It looks like a big square. has vents along it like this. And you can, it'll fit these packages perfectly. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's, and you do, let, you have less chance of wrecking. Otherwise, I have to go like this all around it. And, uh, you know, there's a chance of wrecking it. And I don't have, there's a little vacuum lift tool that you want to have too. Like, doing this is not the way you should be doing it. I should not be using an X-Acto knife to pull this thing off.
but since this is just an experiment, I can just rip it off without any trouble. See, I just bent a pin in the process. So you're going to damage them doing this way. And I should be using some solder flux, too. So, there. Removed. So that's it. Just want to show you this. Now, when I'm done, it's important that you put it back in the thing. It should go into sleep mode. Why isn't it going into sleep mode? There it goes. See the temperature dropping? Interesting, <laughs> because I'm kind of worried that it's going to catch that paper on fire. It should probably move where it's located. So now if I turn it off, well, let me turn the temperature down. So that's the actual temperature now. If I turn this off, I think it keeps running. And it does. So it's something that should it should cool itself off first. I guess just said I get in the stand. Like I said, this is my first time using this. And if anybody wants to give me any tips, that's great because I love it. There, it's in sleep. So now I can shut it off. So that's it, guys. Um, yeah, so here's the chip I removed. It's not too hot right now. So I, I'm, here's the other one. Yeah, so I can start, start trying out some reworking and making new circuits. Um, I'm actually getting into some design. Um, and I want to be able to try making some SMD boards myself. So I don't know if this is going to be sufficient, but I always wanted to have one of these. I want to try them out, and uh, it, was, it was inexpensive. So I figured I'd at least cut my teeth on something like this before I spent money on something more expensive. Um, one of the things that a lot of people recommend is having a, uh, a board warmer, something you set the board on. It's like a heater that gets it hot um, up to a certain temperature before you even use the uh, rework station so that you don't have to spend put a lot of heat directly on it so uh, that's it guys and um, I will have some more videos for you I just want to show you this new tool I got it's pretty exciting and uh, that's it